from Sigmund Freud to Donald Hebb all the way to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now you're probably thinking, what do any of these guys have to do with each other? Now the key word there would be thinking. Now there's a link between working out the body and working out the brain, but most think exercise is just for healthy heart health and losing fat. But researchers are starting to say that this just may be a byproduct of what exercise does for the brain. But why? Well, as why do we even have a brain? To think, to create, show emotion? How about movement? For example, for the simple to complex movements to interact with the environment around you, to the contraction of smooth and cardiac muscle to keep the organs functioning, all the way to me giving this presentation. Now imagine if I stood here with no body language, arms at the side, it'd be hard to get my point across, or if the muscles of my mouth did not contract, hmm, I wouldn't make any good points, would I? <laughs> now, this brain-body connection is an evolutionary trait from our ancient ancestors who had to walk days, miles a day, while predicting which way their prey went and remembering safe places to hide for survival. Now, this combination of physical activity and cognition led to a physiological adaptation that we can harvest through exercise today. And that adaptation is the production of BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor. Now, what BDNF does is causes neuronal growth and protection of brain cells, primarily in the hippocampus. This is the brain center for long-term memory and learning. Now, researchers have, well, simply put, basically, better, more brain cells, better cognitive functioning. Now, researchers have put BDNF on neurons and seen that it grew more branches. There's even a school in Chicago that put a uniquely placed exercise program before their toughest classes, and they saw an increase on an international test against schools such as in Japan, China, and Korea, and they scored number one in science and number six in math. And you can see that's mighty impressive given the field they were in. Now, the goal of my research is to go back to our ancient roots and integrate exercise with thinking. For example, I do different types of drills that require, for example, a red cone, blue cone, and a yellow cone. I'll assign them numbers, so red cone one, blue cone two, yellow cone three. I have the participants sprint to the cone based on the number called. Now they're using working memory while simultaneously exercising, using this BDNF and cognition to make the neuron connection stronger. Now these implications can help with Alzheimer's patients with prevention of cell death, or even in tactical populations with helping military officers and police react better under stress in high pressure situations. Now, I just want you all to close your eyes for just one second and just envision a world. Instead of giving a kid with ADHD a pill, you would just simply prescribe some push-ups and a math equation. Thank you. <laughs>